Dungeons and Dragons. Why is it even called that? I don't know. <laughs> Who uses dragons? I mean, sometimes, but not that often for the game to be named after it. But it just sounds good, cool, I guess. Well, let's continue on. Dungeons and Dragons is a fun game. If you disagree, then you disagree. I don't know. <laughs> there are a lot of characters, including this guy. He is a dwarf. I don't know. He's either a mountain one or a hill one. I don't know. Well, this is a dwarf. Dwarves drink wine. And they also have some abilities that I forgot. Dark vision. Dwarves can see in the dark, apparently. They must eat a lot of carrots or something, and they are used to the underground, so it makes sense. Don't rabbits eat carrots and Easter's coming up? Apparently, dwarves are resilient to poison. Might be because they drink a lot of beer, but maybe not. I mean, beer isn't poisonous, is it? <laughs> Well, also, they like axes and hammers. Makes sense, since they are bulky. As you can see, there are a decent amount of characters, and there are variants. Also, there are a lot of traits, like druid, monk, ranger, wizard, etc. There are two different types, or three, whatever. While there are point buy, where you can put your points into what you want to upgrade, and you also can use your dice for a different upgrade system. Well, the government are lizard people in real life. Of course, totally, this is not exaggerated. Or a joke. Totally not. Well, let's continue on. Since you can do whatever in real life, it might not be a good idea to break down a wall, but you technically can if you can. I don't know. Maybe you're not strong enough. You can throw something against the wall. You can drop some soap on the ground so the enemy slips. Who cares? Well, that's basically D&D, but you can be more creative. You can play at parties. You can play on the car and get car sick. You can play basically wherever. You can play online with strangers. Why are they called strange? Unless they're lizard people like the president. Maybe they are. Maybe that's why they call them strangers. Well, let's continue on. Because, like, you can play basically anywhere, and it's free, since you could just come up with it. Like, you can DM, and... DM stands for Dungeon Master. Well, you can DM, and woo, you got a game with your friend. This is why D&D &D is great. You can have unexpected possibilities. You can basically just do whatever. And if the DM allows it, or if you can actually do it, then it's probably okay. And you get to improvise on the spot if you're the DM or the adventurers. So that's why D&D &D is a great game.